again, everyone. It's Matt. And Chels. <laughs> Fucking Captain Kirk, what the fuck? Today we are here for events sevenfold. As they tell us, we love you. This is off their upcoming album, uh, Life is But a Dream, which drops June 2nd. Holy shit, that's just like less than a couple weeks away. Yes, it is. Oh, it's only a couple weeks away. Something right. like that. Nobody was their big return. We checked out Nobody. I was kind of eh on it. Uh, but update, edit, rehash, whatever we call it. I love that song. It grew on me. I love that song. I actually love playing that song on bass. Um, so I'm really excited to see what we have here with We Love You. Yeah, as am I. And this video is cool. It's a 360 video. It is a 360 VR, like, interactive video. We're not going to fuck around with that because I want to just pay attention to the song. We're going to watch. And then if I like it enough, I'll probably go back and fuck around with it a second time. Yes, but if you see me reach forward and touch the screen, it's because I just can't help myself. You want control of the mouse? Maybe. (laughs) The official video link will be down below. Our links will be down there as well. Please don't forget to... Like and subscribe. We love you. I'm sorry, what water, water? the fuck? So right there, I've got to say, it sounded like my CD was really skipping, but only on the vocals. That was weird. That's an that's an interesting thing. I don't think I've ever heard that done. <laughs> Whoa, the room changed. Ha ha ha. Okay. I don't like that stuff actually. More wants, more needs, have to stop. more hits, more fiend, more speed, more drive, more self, more time, build out, build Build strong, build fast, build two, build more, build all, build war. Look at the way you go. You won't be million and you know which show. Fuck! Oh, the strangest songs I've ever listened to. Yeah. 
Dude! Harsh vocals from Matt again? Like this. This is pretty. Musically and visually. Little scratches on the strings what a, there. What a journey this song has been. We both have confusion upon our faces. <clears throat> I'll let you go first on this one. You're gonna let me go first I on am. this one. I am. I have been an Avenged Sevenfold fan. Uh, fuck, I don't even remember what year Waking the Fallen came out. As one of my all-time favorite metal albums. Um. To see where they are now, it's jaw-dropping. It's very interesting. I don't even feel like it's the same band. Now, before anyone takes that as me bashing the band for this move, I'm not at all. I still love Avenged Sevenfold. This might shock the person next to me, but there was something about this song that I did enjoy. I think because it was so different. And you don't get that that often. Like this was its own thing. You cannot say this is like anything else you have heard. Yeah, not at you all. You cannot say that. This was avenged, experimenting, um, and doing it quite well. Now I do have a negative thing to say. If I could take out the first 30 seconds of the song, the weird waterboarding vocals, that, that did odd. not do much for me. That was fucking weird. 
But once we got into the song, I liked it. And as it progressed, I found myself liking it even more. And then we got to the ballad style at the end. And I actually feel like that was genius. Um, I, I, I feel like it was a really genius thing to do because here we were, a new style, unlike anything we've heard Avenge do before. And it was, I, I just, it, it caught me off guard and it was like something, something else different. But we all know when, when Avenge does ballads, they do ballads very fucking well. And I just thought it was a very beautiful way to go out on the song. The harsher vocals of M Shadows, I fucking love that. We're getting harsh vocals again. To me, that part had like a Pantera vibe to it. It was um, interesting how it kept coming back to like the, dude, the harsher just, stuff. This is one of those I feel like the more I listen to it, the more I'm going to enjoy it. I don't feel like it's one I'm going to listen to all the time because it is such a a risk. This is a risky move. This is a risky fucking move. The one thing I will say is M Shadows took a lot of inspiration. He said Avenge took a lot of inspiration uh, from Kanye West, which I don't know if I would say that today. Back when he said it, it was before Kanye was saying he loved Nazis and shit. So I'm just going to let that one go. This isn't like college dropout Kanye, that's for sure. But I mean, this was this was interesting. Very, very artistic. The instrumentation, to me, the thing that stood out the most was Johnny Christ, Johnny Christ's bass. Yes, I have a lot to fucking say. <laughs> the bass was amazing in this song. I'm happy we got the solo in there. Um, damn. I am really fucking interested in what this album is going to sound like. Yeah. From Nobody to this. Now those I want to listen to those songs. two songs again. I will be listening to this again. This is going to require a second listen. Absolutely. Absolutely require a second listen. Uh, but I, I liked it way more than I did not like it. Really, the only thing I did not care for was the uh, that... <laughs> I don't know what we were thinking with that one. But hey. Um, no, that just messed with my ears a little bit. I'm going to give this a... Man. I'm waiting for that rating. I don't even fucking know. I'm going to... Because... And this is something that I'm going to say and I appreciate. I love the fact that Avenged took that risk. Took that chance. Stepped out of the fucking box. Stopped sounding like the same old thing. Because let's be real. It gets old when you hear Disturb sound like Disturb in the 19th album in a row. Volbeat sounds like Volbeat 16 albums in. I'm exaggerating on the numbers, but you know what I mean here. A lot of man bands that have been going for years still sound the fucking same. They're too afraid to branch out and take risks because they're afraid they're going to lose their fans. And yeah, exactly. give Avenged Sevenfold kudos for just doing it anyway. There were several things I liked. Like I said, the only thing I didn't like was that that first 30 seconds. Only the vocals. Everything was great. I'm going to give this an 8 out of 10. This was so fascinating to me. I also want to watch the video again so I can play around with it. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I said I wasn't going to do it, but I still fucking did it. The beginning, completely agree with you. That was whack. And then it started getting really good and really different, very artsy. And then there was that weird freaking noise that actually hurt my ears. Do you know what I'm talking about? It was like a scratchy. Oh, was it a guitar? It, it was, was OK. Good. So it was more like a, a door opening. No, it was like someone was rubbing sandpaper on my brain. That's what it was. It was not a good sound. It was somewhere in the middle. Interesting. Um, yeah. Aside from the beginning and that part, I enjoyed it too. And the end had me surprised. I was... It just stayed peaceful. 
It went out like a ballad. It was very interesting. I'm going to give this a 7 out of 10. To go back on that ending, though, I did find it quite fascinating that we kept on what sounded like filing the strings while playing, but it was like just with the pick. Mm. Yeah, that was... There was a lot here. It was the most different thing I've heard in a minute. I don't think... Yeah, this was its own thing. I'm really excited about this album right now. Not too long. There you have it. That's uh, our take on We Love You. Thank I you still love Avenged. Thank you so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed our reaction. See you next time. Bye. Goodbye.